Hi, my name is Helen Long and I have been working here at Winchester Hospital and Leahy Clinic for um, since Winchester since 1989 for 27 years running the outpatient nutrition clinic and we're here today to talk about vitamin D. The Institute of Medicine has um, came out with recommendations that for those of us between the ages of 1 and 70, they recommend 600 international units and for those over 70, it's 800 international units. It's best to talk to your doctor and find out what is the right amount for you. Typically the main source of vitamin D in the diet has been milk. Um, a glass of milk will only give you 100 international units though. And so it, you'd have to drink a lot of milk if you needed to get up to a thousand a day. So with the milk alternatives that have come on the market such as soy, rice, almond milk, they are now being fortified with 100 international units per cup. Um, other sources would be seafood. I brought a little can of tuna fish because I couldn't bring salmon today, but tuna fish is, and salmon, mackerel, um, sardines, those are all fish that are high in vitamin D. Egg yolks have some vitamin D in them. And one other source is mushrooms, especially if they've been exposed to UV light. Sometimes mushrooms can give us vitamin D as well. There are supplements that are sold individually, such as this one from Nature Made. It says D3 and 1,000 international units. Um, so sometimes taking just the D alone is all that's needed. And other times we can look at multivitamins. And if you take a multivitamin, you want to make sure you, you look on the back and see if the vitamin D is already included in there. So in this particular multi from Nature Made, they already have a thousand international units in there, so that may be all that you need for the day to bring you to your goal.